The Truman Show is a drama-based film in which Truman, the protagonist, overgoes a midlife crisis as he realizes that he is living in a simulation made by the director Kristoff, who broadcasts to the world the psychological outcome of a boy being raised in a fake reality. The Truman Show is a fantastic example of Marxist literary criticism as it displays Truman as the proletariat, Kristoff, the director, as the aristocrat, and arguably the audience as the bourgeoisie. Firstly, Capitalism Capitalism is showcased through Kristoff capitalizing off Truman's life as he was essentially born into this show. Kristoff has been marketing his likability for sponsorships and overall wealth that is generated from this show. It gets to a point where the director prevents Truman from getting with his first love as the director plans his life, and goes even further to instilling trauma onto him in order to stop Truman from revolting and escaping to the real world. The audience represent the bourgeoisie, as they are the directed audience for merchandise and other products, implying that they are wealthy enough to afford luxuries, but not as wealthy as aristocrats or as poor as the proletariats. Lauren, who is assumed to be part of the bourgeoisie class, helps Truman in realizing that he is in a false reality by saying this. Truman, what do they want? Listen to me. Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows everything you do. They're pretending, Truman. Do you understand? Everybody's pretending. Lauren, I don't know. No, no, no. My name's not Lauren. It's Sylvia. My name's Sylvia. No. Yeah. Honey, honey. He's lying. Honey, please. Truman, please. No, don't listen no. to him. Hey, everything I've told you is the truth. Please. This is what this. It, it's fake. It's all for you. I don't understand. I, and the sky and the sea, everything. It's a set. I it's a please. show. Everybody's You'll be watching all right. you. Please, don't please, listen to him. Lauren. He's gonna lie to you. Watch What's him right now. This represents how the bourgeoisie class and the proletariat class have an uprising or a revolution against the aristocrats in order to bring justice, as even the audience cheer for Truman to find freedom. So there's a lot more I can discuss about this film, but for now, this was my summary of how The Truman Show connects to Marxist literary criticism. Thanks for watching.